Hi guys, I'm Mosmi Ambasta and today we'll be discussing about performance measurement tools in the operations department of garment industry. KPIs help a business understand the core of how your business is functioning. You can analyze reports, evaluate employee performances, set up goals and targets and basically run your entire business. The key performance indicators for operations department are man to machine ratio, work in progress, tag time, throughput time or flow time, throughput rate or flow rate, machine utilization, overall equipment effectiveness or OEE, SMV improvement and value added time. These are just some of the key parameters to measure key performance of operations department in garment industry. Let's understand the first metric, man to machine ratio. Man to machine ratio stands for total available workforce to the total number of operational machines in the factory. Companies always set up benchmarks for each factory on measuring the performance of man to machine ratio. However, a standard benchmark is a bit difficult to set up because it is dependent on the production process of the factory, the quality parameters, the equipment available in each factory. So, these benchmarks should be established by each factory and then one should aspire to reduce it further. This can be measured by two parameters, direct labor or total employee workforce. To understand this better, let's take a simple example. Let's say a factory has 100 operational machines and there are 150 direct labor employees and there are total of 200 employees in the entire factory. So the man to machine ratio as per the direct labor is 150 by 100 or 1.5 is to 1 and the ratio of direct labor as per the total employees is 200 by 100 or 2 is to 1. This measure is taken out to understand how much money is being spent on the employees as compared to each machine in the factory. The second performance metric is work in progress or WIP. WIP can be measured in the entire factory or in a single line or between two operations. It is the inventory that has begun the production process so it's no more considered raw material but it hasn't yet transformed into a product. So basically everything which is in between in the factory between the production processes is considered WIP. WIP can be measured in number of pieces or in number of minutes. So how do we measure WIP? You can either count the number of pieces between two operations or in a production line or you can calculate total number of pieces loaded in the line and total number of pieces that have been produced or unloaded from the line. The difference between these two numbers is the total WIP that is currently between the production process within the production line. How do we measure WIP in cutting? Total number of pieces for which the fabric has been issued to cutting subtracted by total number of pieces that cutting has already cut and given to sewing. That difference tells me how many pieces worth of WIP is within the cutting room production processes. Between two operations, total number of pieces that are waiting between two operations can be multiplied to the time required to produce a single piece, which is SMV. That will give me total number of minutes of WIP that is waiting between two operations. WIP is actually financial asset. It's basically money, right? It, does, it is not as valuable as a finished product but it's still a lot of money that is running within the factory processes and it's very important to keep a strong control on your WIP. Different systems or different schools of thoughts advise different amount of WIP within processes. So lean system would say that two operations should have just one piece of WIP. However, a bundle system would suggest a single bundle or sometimes 30 minutes worth of work should be waiting between two operations to ensure a smooth functioning of a production line. Let's take a very simple example to understand how we calculate WIP. So let's say a production line, we have loaded for style one 200 pieces 
and 50 pieces have been produced or has been gone out of the last operation of that line. That means 150 pieces are still in production. So the WIP of the line would be 150 pieces. The next metric we are going to discuss is tag time. Tag time is the concept that matches the pace of production with the customer's demand per day. It's basically the heartbeat of the lean production process. It can be defined as total available production time divided by total customer's demand per day. We can understand it is with a very simple example. So let's say for one operator, there are 480 minutes of time available in one shift. 10 minutes is the time the operator spends in the startup and 15 minutes to you know shut down the machine, close up the entire process, clean up his workspace. So 25 minutes is not available for him. Therefore, 480 minus 25, 455 minutes are actual available time and this we will use to calculate the baseline of the entire calculation. Now there are 300 pieces that are expected to be produced by that person, by the management or the customer or the planner. So the total tag time should be 455 divided by 300, 1.52 minutes, which means that the production time per piece is 1.52 minutes. So the entire production line must be balanced with this time to ensure that the production process is smooth and it works like a clockwork. The fourth metric that we're going to discuss is throughput time or flow time. It is the time it takes for a garment to pass through the entire production process from the time it enters the production process till the time it is released by converting into a finished product. We can measure this by following one particular garment all through the entire process and measuring its time of input and output. You can also measure throughput time for a particular production line, a factory, a sub-assembly or a part. Throughput time consists of processing time, inspection time, movement time and queue or waiting time. The objective should be to reduce throughput time so that the production or output from the line can be increased. Generally, the major chunk of throughput time is not the actual processing time. The time is spent in inspection, movement or waiting or queuing. An analyst should try to reduce these three times to achieve better production process. Let us understand throughput time with a simple operation. Let's say a production line has five operations where the fifth operation is the output operation and it's an inspection operation. It takes two minutes for the product to move from each operation. So the processing time at each station is two minutes. There is a 10 minutes of waiting time between two operations. And between the fourth and the fifth operation, it takes three minutes to move the pieces around. So we have four operations doing processing. So we have eight minutes of processing time. We have the fifth operation which is our inspection station which takes two minutes of inspection time. Between fourth and fifth operation we have three minutes of movement time and because there is 10 minutes of waiting time between each operation we have 40 minutes of waiting time or WIP. So the total throughput time that is total time it will take for a garment or a product to enter in the first operation and exit from the last operation is sum of all these times which is 53 minutes and we should aspire to try to reduce this time to increase overall output. The fifth metric is throughput rate or flow rate. It is the average rate at which units are produced from a specific point in the production process. It's basically pieces produced per hour. So if you are producing certain number of pieces in a day divided by total number of hours it has been produced, then the unit is output per hour which is the flow rate or throughput rate for that production line. In a factory you are always measuring output per hour. So average output per hour can also be considered as throughput rate or flow rate. For a simple example, let's say a factory produces 80 pieces in a day and it runs for let's say 8 hours 
then 80 divided by 8 so it the throughput rate is 10 pieces or 10 units per hour the next metric we are going to discuss is machine utilization time machine utilization is basically the actual time in which the machine is used to produce a garment or the machine is actually running to produce a garment it can be defined as actual running time divided by total time available for the machine to run uh, actual running time can be defined and the time spent for the machine to run for each cycle of operation multiplied by pieces produced in a day in a sewing line machine running time is only the time in which the needle is actually moving rest of the time is either handling or prepping or managing the workspace around the machine. Let's understand this with a simple example. Let's say an operation produces 220 pieces in a day and the SMV of the operation is 1.5 minutes out of which 0.65 minutes is the actual machine running time or the needle movement time. The available time for that machine is 480 minutes but 20 minutes were wasted in machine downtime and 10 minutes were additionally wasted in other non-working time so the actual available minutes to the operator or to the machine is 450 minutes so the machine utilization in this particular case is 0.65 multiplied by 220 which is the total machine running time divided by 450 the available minutes so the machine utilization here is 31.7% the seventh metric in the operations performance is OEE or Overall Equipment Effectiveness. OEE stands for how well we are using our machine in the factory. It is basically the next step above machine utilization. It links the availability of the machine to the way the machine is performing or the performance or output of the machine to the quality conformance so whether the machine is performing as per the expected quality standards so OEE can be defined as availability into performance into quality availability is basically the total uptime so total time the machine was supposed to perform minus any kind of machine downtime or unscheduled time performance is measured with the target output that was expected out of the machine and the output that has actually been produced and it has to conform to the quality standards of the output from that machine 85 percent is the accepted standard for japanese industries for overall equipment effectiveness the next metric we're going to discuss is smv improvement SMB improvement is basically reduction of standard time by various methods adopted by industrial engineering. Reduction of standard time is one of the major objectives of industrial engineering departments. They need to do methods for method improvement, processes of workplace engineering, adopting either new machines or attachments or various garment engineering processes will be required to reduce the standard time. This can be directly calculated in terms of money value achieved. So let's say you reduce a standard time by X number of minutes, multiply it by pieces produced per day into cost per minute. If the factory has the data of cost per minute, we can get the actual money value received for each improvement. Industrial engineering department uses this concept to calculate the contribution of the team or the contribution of the entire department to the progress of the company. However, this saving can only be achieved if the new methods are actually adopted by the operators on the floor. The last metric in operations performance is value added time. What is value? In lean philosophy, value is determined from a customer's point of view. So whatever a customer is willing to pay for a product is considered value for that product. A value added element is an element which goes with the product to the customer as per the customer's demand. A value added process is a process which is essential to convert a raw material into a product desired by the customer. And value added time is the time actually spent in doing a value added process. Value added time can be sewing, cutting 
and any other process which is being done like numbering is considered as a non value added time with this we come to the end of our performance metric for operations department stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for more such videos thank you